Hey guys, well I just wanted to do a really quick video on uh, making some cookies. I, I don't, I didn't really want to do the whole video with watching me mix the ingredients together. I'm, you guys are pretty much all adults, you know how to mix ingredients. So I basically just wanted to do this one where it's pretty quick and it's right to the point. It's the holiday season. I wanted to pre prep some cookies and some dessert, keto friendly, before the big day, before Thanksgiving. And uh, so I decided just to do some some peanut butter cookies and some almond butter cookies. And the reason I did both was because the, there's four in our family and my kids and I can have the peanut butter, but uh, my girlfriend Heidi cannot have peanut butter. She she doesn't, she's kind of allergic to peanuts. Not like a bad allergy, she just kind of doesn't, it doesn't agree with her. So she does the almond butter. So I made her a bunch of almond butter ones. So I'm just gonna go over real quick. So. I use a whole can, a whole 16 ounce of organic peanut butter. Now, just real quick, you gotta make sure your ingredients are good, okay? This is roasted peanuts. That's the only ingredient in those. Almond butter. We got almonds, that's it. Okay, so you wanna go with just uh, organic, simple ingredients. So you wanna use a whole can, a whole 16 ounces, Okay, then you want to use two eggs and one cup of Swerve. I use Swerve because it's it's the same consistency for bacon as sugar as far as a one-to-one -one ratio. And erythritol is, is very keto-friendly. I've used them all, and um, it's nothing like bad like the sugar alcohols like maltitol and stuff. Swerve and Stevia are the best ones to use. And then I just add a little bit of, well, this is peppermint, actually, but I used a little bit of, uh, I used it all. That's why I got this one. I thought it was the same thing as vanilla extract. I used like a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract just to give it a little flavor. These are some of the ones that are already done. Let's go over here. We can turn this off because these are done and ready to come out. So we have the last of the almond butter cookies in here. Ooh, wish you could smell those. Oh my God, they smell so good. So anyways. Those are fresh out of the oven, as you can see. Very, uh, these may be just, well, I don't think they're a tad overcooked. I actually like them a tiny bit crispy too. But these are the almond butter cookies. It's just that simple three to four ingredients. I mean, you got eggs, peanut butter, erythritol, and vanilla extract. And here's the peanut butter ones I already did. I mean, these are phenomenal. I'm not having any right now because I'm fasting. But these are all for Thanksgiving. And trust me, guys, real simple. Like I said, use a whole jar, a whole 16 ounce of peanut butter or almond butter, two eggs, and one cup of the Swerve, or with their tall mix, and a little bit of vanilla. And you got yourself some extremely friendly, keto-friendly cookies. So again, you don't want to eat 16 of these, but... There's about one and a half, two carbs per cookie, probably. I'm guesstimating. Um, I don't make these a lot. This is sort of gonna be like a what a, a keto cheat for me on Thanksgiving. I usually really wouldn't have these lying around just because it's too tempting to eat to overeat these. And yes, I'm keto. You can overeat even things that are good for you. So you just gotta control a little bit. But man, they look good. So that's it. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and uh, we'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon.